Science exists as a way to provide answers to the pressing questions that we have about ourselves, the world around us, and even what lies beyond our own planet and solar system. Mysteries that have remained unsolved for decades can finally be put to rest with the development of better scientific technologies and elements of ourselves and our world that we had no idea even existed can come to light thanks to the marvels of scientific research. Luckily, we live in a world where science has developed enough to finally answer age-old questions and discover these things that we did not even know in the first place. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into science discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Physicists find ultra-rare, triple glue ball particle after 48 years. It has taken physicists just under half a century to confirm the theory about the triple glue ball particle. This particle, known as Odoron, was first predicted by scientists in 1973, but was never seen in the real world. It is an ultra-rare and short-lived combination of three gluons, which are tiny particles. Scientists theorized that the odoron would occur when protons smashed together at extremely high speeds, although they could not figure out the exact conditions needed. Odorons are unique particles formed with three sticky gluons, which serve an essential role in the makeup of protons and neutrons. Gluons carry the strong force, one of the fundamental forces of the universe that glue quarks together and allows them to form protons and neutrons, then binding them together with atomic nuclei. When protons smash into each other in colliders, they break apart nearly three quarters of the time. In a quarter of the experiments, though, they bounce off each other and survive the collision. This could be due to the exchange of some gluons between particles during the interaction. Proton-proton and proton-antiproton collisions exchange particles and sometimes result in a glue ball, where two or three gluons emerge. Although scientists had already witnessed a double glue ball, they recently confirmed the existence of the Odoron, a triple glue ball. After spending decades examining data from two colliders, scientists have uncovered enough conclusive evidence to indicate the rare particle's existence. Researchers collected information from the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, in Geneva, a 27-kilometer circular atom slammer that discovered the Higgs boson and the now-defunct Tevatron in Illinois, USA, which is a 6.3-kilometer-long collider that slammed protons and antiprotons together. The researchers theorized that the varying rates in the two types of collisions would reveal odorons, because there would be a minute difference between the frequencies of protons bouncing off of antiprotons and other protons. They instituted a mathematical approach to compare the data from the two colliders since they occurred at differing energy levels, producing a graph they then called the money plot. This plotted graph reveals the existence of the odoron in the space between the two types of collisions, they do not line up exactly, which implies the particle exists. It also has a five-sigma statistical significance, solidifying the proof and reaching the gold standard in determining new particles. The odds of this gap occurring without influence from odorons is about 1 in 3.5 million. Despite having predicted its existence nearly 50 years ago, scientists argue that the odoron will not alter any aspect of the way we approach or understand physics. Some researchers even reject it being considered a true particle, arguing that it is only a quasi-particle since it is temporarily arranged of smaller particles. Regardless, the recent evidence is crucial to the science community because it confirms the theory about the different rates of collisions. The 1973 prediction was correct after all. Scientists are pretty sure they found a portal to the fifth dimension. Scientists believe they may have found more clues to a possible fifth dimension, which helps in trying to find an explanation for dark matter. Dark matter is hard to detect, as it doesn't emit any visible light or energy. Scientists are adamant that this unseen force is a dominant ingredient that makes up the universe. The supposed fifth dimension is currently understood as a dimension where gravity and electromagnetism combine. This new discovery may not turn out to be as exciting as it might seem at first, but scientists believe it will help us to better understand and observe dark matter in the near future, 
as well as its impact on the universe. Even though dark matter makes up 75% of matter, it has never been observed. Recent reports suggest that scientists are trying to find dark matter by expanding on the theory of a warped extra dimension, which was first stated in 1999. This new research builds on the idea that Fermian masses could be entering a fifth dimension using portals, which in turn is creating dark matter. This new research could be a giant leap forward in our understanding of some of the universe's greatest mysteries, which so far have only been for sci-fi and fantasy writers to speculate. China's advanced artificial sun fusion reactor just broke a new world record. Huge advancements in clean energy came in May of 2021 as the Chinese Academy of Science hit a new world record with their fusion machine. On May 28th, the fusion machine at the Chinese Academy of Science reached a staggering 120 million degrees Celsius. This temperature was maintained for 101 seconds, breaking the previous record. Before this staggering temperature, EAST, or the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, managed to keep the plasma active for a similar length of time, but at a much lower temperature, at 50 million degrees Celsius, which was easier to control, and this was achieved back in 2017. Similarly, the fusion reactor is not unfamiliar with high temperatures, managing to hit 100 million degrees for just 10 seconds in 2018. May 2021 is the first time we have seen the best of both worlds, a good duration and high temperature. Whilst the stats might not mean much to the less technological amongst us, this has significant potential and represents a momentous leap forwards in space developments and sustainable clean energy sources. The blistering temperature of 100 million degrees is generally considered to be the target to hit in order to start generating power. Now, however, researchers in China have proven we can sustain, for at least 101 seconds, the plasma in the fusion machine at 120 million degrees Celsius, well above the threshold to generate power. For context, this is eight times the temperature of the sun's core. This milestone pushes us one step further to the artificial sun that could revolutionize energy usage. Li Miao, a physicist with the Southern University of Science and Technology, commented, The breakthrough is significant progress, and the ultimate goal should be keeping the temperature at a stable temperature for a long time. The complexity of the research that goes into a fusion reactor largely comes from trying to emulate the conditions of the sun as we hope to mimic similar chemical reactions to those that naturally occur in the star. Whereas gravity plays a key role in pushing the nuclei of the hydrogen atoms together in the sun, the same gravitational forces work against us here on Earth and cannot be replicated to reflect the sun's conditions. To compensate for this, the sky-high temperatures and the specialized nature of the generators used create a similar effect, or at least with this new record are getting closer to this same reaction occurring. The excessive heat and the length of time said heat can be maintained for means that the plasma can be held in place long enough for the fusion process to take place. The new record showing a prolonged time and a high temperature suggests we may not be as far off from this as we may have thought just a few months ago. In theory, if these practices can be smoothed out and made readily available, we would have a system to produce masses of energy on a huge scale without using greenhouse gases or producing much radioactive waste. Some people believe research into fusion power could lead us to the clean energy source we have been looking for. Whilst this is certainly an ideal solution, we are still a while away from this becoming a reality. So far, we use more energy to run the fusion reactor than we are able to gain from it, though it could be just a few decades until we achieve this cleaner energy system. Although a fair bit of trial and error, research and patience remain. This new record is a major breakthrough to making nuclear fusion a reliable energy source. One day, in the not-too-distant future, this could do wonders for the climate crisis. Mystery Ancestor Mated with Ancient Humans The desire of Homo sapiens to mate with their archaic relatives has long preoccupied researchers. 
Now scientists have discovered evidence of a previously unknown human species in the genome of West Africans. Modern man, Homo sapiens, mated with Neanderthals in Europe and fathered children. This is well known. Now, a study in the journal Science Advances shows that fertile exchanges also took place in Africa between Homo sapiens and an archaic human species. Fossilized bones do not exist of this apparently irresistible human relative. Instead, geneticists of the University of California discovered traces of the previously unknown prehistoric human in the genomes of present-day West Africans. The researchers refer to this as a ghost population. The discovery provides new clues to the genetic diversity of the genus Homo in Africa, which could previously only be reconstructed in fragments from fossils. The geneticists discovered the clues to the new human species during a genetic analysis. They compared the DNA of West Africans with that of Neanderthals and so-called Denisovan humans, another species closely related to Neanderthals. Genetic traces of both prehistoric humans are found in the genome of every modern human. In the genome of some West Africans, however, scientists have now discovered additional previously unknown genetic snippets that they have assigned to the new, unknown relative. The modeling of the geneticists shows that the ways of the modern human being and the spirit relative initially separated about one million years ago in Africa. About 50,000 years ago, however, the two unequal partners met again. Researchers are still puzzling over whether the genetic traces point to a known archaic human species or actually belong to a new species. One million years ago, Homo erectus lived in Africa, presumably the first human species that used fire and could walk like a modern human. Did the ghost species resemble that prehistoric fellow? In the late 1960s, archaeologists in Nigeria found the so-called Iwo Eluru skull and dated it to be about 11,200 years old. The geneticists suspect that this human skull could have belonged to a representative of their spirit species. New signal discovered in the human brain If you thought that we know everything there is to know about the human body, you would be wrong. The truth of it is, our bodies are so complex that scientists and doctors are constantly unearthing new ways our cells work to keep us alive. And one of those new findings is the recent discovery of a type of cell signaling within the brain that has never been seen before and has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of how the brain computes. Neurons within the central nervous system communicate with each other via action potentials created by an influx of ions such as sodium, chloride, and potassium that cause channels within the neurons to open and close, thereby propagating the signal. The key behind these signals, however, is that they are either off, meaning that the channels are closed and the action potentials are not passed down, or on, where the signal can be passed to the next neuron. A channel can only switch to the on position when an action potential threshold has been reached by an accumulation of ions, resulting in an all-or-nothing response. This appeared to limit the capacities of the human brain, but scientists knew that there had to be more to the story in order to account for the complex operations our brains are capable of. Finally, German and Greek researchers measuring electrical activity in brain cells removed from patients during surgery uncovered findings that show strange, graded signals in the brain's outer cortical cells that only diminished when calcium blockers were administered. This was revolutionary as it meant that the action potentials were being triggered not by sodium and potassium, but by calcium. What is more, the signals were not transmitted in a simple open or shut pattern, but rather triggered in voltage waves distinctly unlike the action potentials observed elsewhere in the brain. This seems to indicate a network solution of sorts is required for these types of signals, which has huge implications for our understanding of how logic functions realistically in the brain. While this discovery is going to be massively important for future generations of neuroscience, it can also impact future technologies. Our brains are often likened to computers, and for good reason, and looking inward can help to develop artificial intelligence with a more fluid capacity for learning, logic, and associated between stored memories. For now, however, more studies are needed to be able to fully understand what this new discovery means for our understanding of our own minds.
but what do you make of these curious discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.